Hey guys, it's Valentina, your local Argentinian Spanish tutor. Welcome back to another video where I give you all the best tips and tricks to perfect your Spanish. I have my mate ready, so let's go. Today I'm gonna give you the ultimate vocabulary lesson. We'll talk about phrasal verbs, which make a huge part of the day-to-day -day English language and how to incorporate them in your Spanish. After this video, you will have added up to your fancy Spanish vocabulary list. With no further ado, let's get on with the video. First of all, what are the phrasal verbs? Well, basically, you take a verb and you add a preposition to it. And when you do that, the meaning of the verb changes sometimes completely. English speakers use them all the time, but for Spanish speakers, learning them can be a bit of a challenge. What I've noticed is that translating those phrasal verbs to Spanish can also be a challenge for English speakers because they tend to look for two words where you only need one. Learning these verbs can help you increase your accuracy when speaking Spanish and also make you sound like a real pro. So, I chose five verbs that combined with different prepositions mean completely different things. Let's break them down. Okay, first one, to give. In Spanish, to give is dar. But what happens when we add different prepositions to it? Phrasal verbs are amazing, but in Spanish, we can narrow them down to single words. So let's hear them out. Give in, ceder. Give up, rendirse. I give up, me rindo. Give away, repartir or regalar. Regalar is more like to give gifts. Give back, devolver. Give out, agotarse. Give off, despedir or desprender. Like to give off vibes, despide energías, for example. Okay, number two, to go. The verb to go in Spanish is ir. The amount of phrasal verbs with to go is incredible. Let's see how many of them you recognize in Spanish. Go in, entrar. Go out, salir. Go over, sobrepasar. Go up, subir. Go down, bajar. Go across, atravesar. Go away, marcharse or irse. But if you say it like a command, go away, you can say vete. Or like we would say in Argentina, andate. Go off, explotar. I am really not sure how you guys turn explotar like a bomb, like to, yes, go off, queen, uh, but it works. Go through, sufrir, or atravesar. Atravesar is more like to go across, to go through something, literally, like to go through a door, atravesar una puerta. And sufrir is more like when you're going through something emotionally. Okay, number three. Break. To break in Spanish is romper. Break away, soltarse or liberarse. The second one, liberarse, comes from freedom. So it would be kind of like to break free. Break out, estallar. Break up, terminar. We are aware that break up in English is mostly used to talk about when you break up with someone, like a relationship. You can also say cortar or romper. Number four, to come, in Spanish, venir. Come up, subir, and come down, bajar. Come off, aparentar. Aparenta ser una persona muy divertida. He comes off as a really fun person. Come at, embestir. Come about, suceder. ¿Cómo sucedió esto? How did this come about? Come along, acompañar. Come along with me, acompáñame. And finally, come on, vamos. And finally, and even though there are many more, number five, to put. In Spanish, poner. Let's see all its combinations. Put in, meter, insertar, instalar, literally so many alternatives. Put down can be either bajar or dejar if you're talking about putting something down. But if you're talking about putting something down in paper, like writing something down, it would be anotar. Put off 
Posponer. This is a great verb to remember. It will make you sound like a total pro. And finally, and one of my favorites, put up with, soportar. This one I've heard many times in my lessons, people saying poner con when trying to say to put up with someone. The word is soportar. For a little bonus track, I'm gonna give you the one that I used earlier in the video, add up to. In Spanish, add up to would be sumar. Okay guys, and that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned some new verbs to add to your Spanish vocabulary. Remember that everybody can do it and if you're thinking about it, then you're ready to do it. Make sure to check out OCTV and remember that our first class is for free. Learn Spanish from native Spanish speakers and have tons of fun in the process. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. What else would you like to see in next videos? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And I'll see you very, very, very soon. Nos vemos.